Hi everybody, Lydia Crowder here with the Build Show Network and today we're going to talk all about filling joints and we're going to talk about filling flats. So we have our tape here, everything's already taped and our tape is dry. So it's really important when you are coating that you're letting everything dry before moving on to the next step. So when we talk about filling, we don't want to start getting on anything until everything is dry. This taping mud is dry, the tape is dry, and everything is sucked down tight. So if I was to coat this tape while it's still wet, it's gonna have some major shrinkage going on and then also cause problems with my tape. So make sure everything dries. And then after it's dry, we don't sand before we start our first coat. We will sand it between our second and third coat, but not with our first coat. So when we look at drywall board, it has this bevel here, and the bevel there is made to hide the tape. So as you can tell, there's space there in between that joint. So there's a bevel there that's allowing the tape to be there and then made to coat and hide that tape and slowly float it out. So this is a 10 inch knife. You can coat with an eight if you so choose for your first coat. We want this bevel to be full, but we don't want it overfilled. And when I'm talking about overfilled, that's when you hump out a joint. So if you walk into a job, a restaurant, anything like that, and you see big humps on the wall, or you can see every single flat or butt, those joints are overfilled more than likely. So it's really important that number one, we don't overfill, and number two, we allow consecutive coats. So for a level three, which we are doing in this job, these will get two coats. So our first coat is gonna be more of a fill coat, and then our second coat will be our skim, where we're tidying up and then filling anything that we left a void with. For a smooth wall or a level four, we will go to three coats, and that third coat is super thin, um, just really nice and polished up. So I'm gonna be using a knife just so I can demonstrate. You can also coat these with boxes. Just make sure you're checking your boxes and not overfilling because every job is different. So I am using plus three. I'm gonna go ahead and put my mud on my joint. And now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cut my edges. And the reason I'm cutting my edges is because number one, I don't need to go really far there. If I have a bunch of mud outside of my bevel, then it's just gonna make a mess. And then number two, you just that's what you do. You just slowly feather everything out instead of hard edges. You have nice soft edges and then you work on feathering. So then I'll take my knife and run straight across. And I'm gonna do it again. So when I put this up, you can tell it's full. And I'm gonna take it away. So this is actually a little over right now. So as you can tell, there's a big line right there. My mud is sticking up too far and too far out of that joint. So that's why it's really important that you're checking as you're going. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass over it again. Go a little bit tighter this time, and then we'll check it. So that looks really good. There's like barely anything that's not over. It allows for some shrinkage. And then I'm gonna have another coat that's coming on top of that. So. If you want to, you can even go a little bit tighter. We like to run our flats really tight, actually. And then right there, that's like about perfect. So that allows for the mud to dry. It allows for another coat. It allows for some shrinkage. It also just looks nice. And then it's set up for the next coat and the next coat after that. So let's just go ahead and we'll just really overfill this. Overfill. This is way over. As you can tell, there is way too much mud there. So when we look back here, you know, we have our bevel that we want to fill. We want to stay in there. This is way outside of the bevel. So this is essentially a humped joint. So when you have a humped joint, it's really hard to come back from it because what happens is instead of having it in that nice bevel there, you now have a hump that's right here. So if you're overfilling your joints, you're not paying attention to having your boxes set correctly, or you're not paying attention when you're hand coating, what will happen is this will dry, you will come up to check it, and you're either number one, sanding it flat, which is a ton of sanding, 
or if you've gone too far and the job is pretty much done, you then have to split all of these out like you would with a butt joint. So you have to coat up here and you have to coat down there to make sure that you're taking away that hump in that joint. So if you're in new construction remodels and you know, you see this and it's way over and you can see the whole thing, your best bet is to split it. And that's the best way you're going to get rid of it, which is so much extra work. So it's very important that you're constantly checking as you're coating your flats, you're making sure you're not overfilling and it's actually better to go just a touch under because you can always add more mud later and like a little extra skim coat isn't going to hurt anything. Go ahead. Then I'm going to leave that. That should be pretty good. That's really nice. We've got nice fill going on there. And then the next coat you increase a little bit, but you're still going to be feathering your edges. You don't want to have lots of mud outside of your bevels. And you also don't want to be like leaving really hard edges that you're having to sand and make flat later. So feather your edges and then keep your knife nice and flat. And then, you know, just be checking as you're going constantly checking. And that's pretty much it. That's how we coat a flat. And we also sand in between. So for the next coat before this one, it'll get a light sand. Always let it dry before you come back and coat it again the next time. You don't want to be going wet on wet on wet. You want to make sure everything's nice and dry before you move on to the next coat. Anyway, that's it for me. Just kind of some explanation of how to coat a flat, what to be looking for and not to be looking for. You guys can check me next week. We'll have a whole brand new video. And um, yeah, check me out on socials, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and what am I forgetting? Oh, YouTube. Um, Trial Shorty is what I'm under for all of those. And I'll check you guys next week. Thank you.